I've thought about this a lot. If I had to give myself more advice, you know, a lot of people when they want to knock Paulie and they want to knock, uh, you know, ECW for a lot of, you know, the negative things. Everybody st stayed in ECW by choice. Also, a lot of guys had no place to go. And, you know, they want to say, oh, he, you know, they bounced checks on me or he folded the company. He was in bed with WWE all along. You decided to stay. You are responsible for all your own actions. If you weren't happy about it, do something else about it. If for, to me, for younger me, I always, you know, WCW at one point offered me more money than I probably would have ever made in my career to leave ECW. I knew if I left ECW, it would have hurt. I went to Paul and Paul was crying to me, you can't do it, we're, we're so close to making it. And it was for a lot of money. I'm telling you a lot of money. Paul lied to me, but he lied to me to keep ECW going, which I actually get. And if I would have left, I would never have been Tommy Dreamer. And staying and going down with the ship of ECW helped me along the way to appreciate what I have, made the fans rally behind me more. I've stayed in the business longer than everyone else who did leave. And when I hear like negative stuff about wrestling or, or wrestling companies, and why I guess I'm so passionate, because you never want to lose something that you love and you never want that to ever go away. If you want to talk to people in Montreal who are Expos fans, you will talk about how gutted they feel. I lived that in ECW and it wasn't about the money. It was about losing something you love. It was like a death. And it was the worst time of my life, but I survived and if I could tell myself I have no regrets, I have, I would do everything pretty much the exact same way because my life turned out okay.